the juicy meat, the crackling skin. We're talking that rotisserie chicken today. Oh, snap! We're counting down five genius ways this fan favorite can make life easier. Oh! Then, let's show everybody our pants. We're revealing the comfy pants we all live for. Go for it! <laughs> Just go for it! And, is it a TikTok hack or whack? We're putting some of the most popular hacks to the test. Literally game changers. That's next. Let's ditch. The kitchen has always been at the center of my world because life is more delicious when it's full of food and fun. <laughs> Everybody knows me as a culinary expert and food judge on television, but also I'm just a mom trying to get dinner on the table. From Hollywood to home, I bring Southern sweet and Caribbean heat, and I'm not afraid to stir the pot. Good food, good friends, good dish. And of course, it's a great day here at The Good Dish because we are counting down the five most genius ways to use the thing that's always in your grocery cart, the food that makes your life easier every time and is always a hit with the whole family. We're talking that rotisserie chicken today. Am I a fan or am I a fan of rotisserie <laughs> chicken? <laughs> Look, authentic passion. It's authentic Daphne. passion. It's authentic passion. That's why we love you. The time-saving meal always delicious and when you see it roasting on that spit mm -hmm. at the grocery store look at her go oh. it's hypnotizing the smell the steam the crackling golden brown skin the perfectly even juicy cook and you get it home and it's ready to eat i absolutely love it and I mean, you know, I eat mine in the car. I don't know about you. <laughs> it wait, wait, tell me. About, I, it's, I'm so tempted to crack it open because no, that I get smell a fork is... from the deli counter of the store and I crack the lid. I'm in the car and I tear off the wing and the. Okay, did I say too much I about mean, no, myself? I love you. Use a fork. <laughs> I'm actually amazed. With why? Use a Fair fork. point. I know. I, I was just wondering. I was like, do you have wet wipes in the car? Like, how are we doing this? Oh yeah, he's um, in the car too. Yeah, it's, it's. I totally sympathize. I've thought about it many times, and now I feel do emboldened it. to do it. And I'm really glad we are not the only ones entranced by the rotisserie chicken. I'm actually going to call out some foul play going on in Hollywood. Celebrities, they love their rotisserie. The poultry paparazzi caught, <laughs> caught Chelsea Chandler <laughs> eating a rotisserie store bird, not in her car, but while she was out on tour. John Legend says he eats half a rotisserie chicken before every single one of his concerts. Half a chicken? That's how he fuels up. I like okay, that. Why is it in the piano? <laughs> <laughs> That's like a reasonable place. You know, <laughs> warm. Just, and this is my actual favorite. Adam Driver's college classmates <laughs> say he used to walk around campus eating a full rotisserie chicken every wow. single day and wow. can i just say i 100 percent believe this yeah, story you can do it, do it. <laughs> like, like i just see him like chowing on his rotisserie bird you know at juilliard walking around <laughs> campus it's 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 just that's you got to keep fueled it is a great protein um so let's talk about like i obviously already wax poetic about why i love mm -hmm. rotisserie but what is it about that gorgeous rotating bird that's so attractive i think there's just something for everyone in a yes. beautiful roast chicken there's the crispy skin, there's the white meat if you want something a little leaner, mm -hmm. there's the, the wing, which I'm like, oh. it's my sacred get to the moment. Wing moment. No yes. one gets my wing. <laughs> home. But also, the, the legs, the thought, like there's just so much to do with it. It's so versatile, no matter if you're buying it in a store or just roasting a chicken at home, mm -hmm. which yeah. can be a really simple, great thing to have in the fridge to use in a million ways. Yeah. For me, it's always perfectly seasoned. Like, yes, I don't have to do anything exactly to right. it. Mm -hmm. I don't know who's had that seasoning spice bag in there before they put it, but it is perfect every single time for Agree. me. Agree. All right, so yes, because yes, <laughs> you teased us about the countdown. So now, let's get this started. All right, coming in at number five, it's the chicken veggie pasta. Yeah. All right, so now, I'm going to start this off. I already have over here, if you can see, some mushrooms that I've sauteed. They're nice and golden brown that I had in my pan earlier. And please, when you're making mushrooms, be patient. Like, don't keep checking them, turning them, tossing The mushrooms, leave them alone. They want to do their thing, all right? After they get nice and brown and um, sauteed down, I put them over here, and now I have onions, garlic, and a little bit of spinach mm -hmm. in my pan here. 
wilted that down a little bit as well. Look at that, beautiful. So now all we have to do is add in some rotisserie chicken that we pulled off, a little bit of white meat, dark meat going in there. Parmesan cheese, because why not? Always. Always. I mean, got to have a little Parmesan cheese. Lemon zest. I think people are into the juice, but they forget. Keep that zest. That gives it that nice brightness, that vibrancy that you're looking for in your cooking. You'll get it with the lemon zest. And then just a little flavoring of rosemary and pepper flakes. Y'all know me in the pepper flakes. I, 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 could, I could get a little carried away with the pepper flakes. No. Okay. Never, never <laughs> enough. And, I'm sorry, you said you threw in, what's the herb, that, oregano? No, that was rosemary. 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 Beautiful. All right. And then rosemary. we'll add our mushrooms back into the pan. So you have this beautiful building of vegetables. Now we need the pasta okay. part. Okay. Okay. So I we have. Oh, oh you're, she's a one-woman shop. Here she yeah. goes. Hey, I got this. <laughs> you just sit back. This I'm going to not her first row. I, no, I'm going to feed you in this segment. Don't I'm worry, my dear. <laughs> All right, so now we're just putting in, we have some cooked penne pasta. And now you can help me yes. with Grab that ladle. Mm, ladle. I want just a little bit of the pasta the water. sauce right here. This, so many people well, here, are... I'll take this off thank your hands. Thank you, thank you. You got it? You got it? You want yes. a little more? Can I just give a moment to the pasta water? Oh, so yes. many people are throwing out their pasta water, and you're missing it. All of that flavor, you have the oil, you have the salt. It, this is what you need to bring your sauce together. And the starch. Yes, it you really need that. Everything. And it doesn't matter if you're doing even a red sauce. Keep that pasta water. And I'll say one tip with rotisserie chicken. For me... I like to buy it early in the day, yeah, but not too, too early. You got to time it. Get to know the person behind the counter with those chickens, okay? They will take care of you. You don't want it to be dried out. You let it sit too long at the grocery store. It will be dried out under the light or whatever. You want the first Great ones point. The off first the ones to come out. Day. Time so like it. You don't want to go too early where you're counter. getting the ones from the night before. There oh, you go. You, that poor logic. little bird is all dried Dangerous. out. You don't even want to deal with that. Okay, so everything comes together. Can we... Move over, because I want to feed yeah, you here. I thought you yes, never asked. so simple here. This will be your great dinner Looks for delicious. tonight. Mm. It has everything in here that you need. Mm -hmm. mm. How much more simple? And rotisserie chicken is from the heavens, is it not? So There's simple. a lot of real stars here, mm. like the mushrooms and the lemon mm. zest for mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. and then those bites of chicken. It's like complete. So good. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Pat myself on the back. All right. Thank nice you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Coming up, you guys, how to turn your bird into the perfect, easy-to-make quesadilla for a crowd. And as we go to break, here is our number four genius use for rotisserie chicken. Mm. Like something you saw on the show today? We're dishing all the details on The Good List. All the recipes, important tips, and tricks, all in one place. So stay tuned until the end of the show when we'll share The Good List QR code. You can scan to send it all right to your phone. Oh my word. Ready for some good dish? We have the cheesiest show ever. Oh, it makes me happy. From a heavenly twist on a mozzarella stick. Oh wow to some delicious dish in with our friend, Food God. One, two, three. Oh, oh. And the most perfect recipe for mac and cheese. Ooh. Oh. We're taking <laughs> ooey, gooey goodness to the next level. The good dish. number three on the countdown of five genius ways to use your rotisserie chicken. But if you're craving something jam-packed with cheesy, beany, flavorful chicken goodness, you're going to love what's number two on the list. It is. Are you ready for this? Because it is a bit mind-blowing, ladies. Yeah. Oh, my. Sheet pan chicken quesadillas. Okay. It sounds insane. And when I first heard about it, I was a little bit overwhelmed by the idea. But the thing about making quesadillas, which I have to say my kids love. Love. I love. It's like my secret late night go-to. You know, there's so many ways to make it, so many variations. And when I want to make it for a crowd, you're like standing on the, over the stove for 
endless way amounts of time 100%. if you want to make them. So this is the best way to use your rotisserie chicken and also make a lot of quesadillas at once that come out beautifully. So just to clarify, we're making an entire sheet tray into a quesadilla that you Correct. can then cut up yes. and serve a bunch of people. That is right, and you'll see how this it's done. Genius. Yeah, it's <laughs> genius. Of course, this okay. one came up with it. She yeah. Well, it. you're going to see, because <laughs> the first time I saw it, I was like, my kids, by the way, this is the guarantee go-to dinner. Like, if I just need, if we're, like, running late, I just need them to eat something, go fast. Yeah. Quesadilla is where we go. Yes. So this is going to change my life. There's a reason. Like, it is, it is brilliant for everyone. Love it. Hit it, Gail. Here we go. So I've sautéed in my pan some peppers, some onions, a little bit of oil. Just softened them down like this. And to the pan that's still hot, I'm going to add some garlic, some cumin, and some chili powder. You mm. can go light or easy nice. on either, depending nice. on your taste. I'm gonna just go heavy on that chili powder. Nice. Give it a little kick for you guys. Obviously, you can customize the spice blend to your needs. And then I'm gonna add some pinto beans. You can use any beans here. Pintos are my favorite for a quesadilla like this. Jimmy, can you do me a favor and layer seven quesadilla, you know, seven tortillas seven. around this sheet down? It's a lot, but this is gonna that. feed a lot of people. Wait, Three. this is wild. Okay. That's right. Uh -huh. I got you. I got you. Keep going. I got this. Okay, so I have this beautiful blend of spices that are warming. You can smell how delicious that is. And then I'm going to start layering in my quesadilla. Get it in there. So I'm almost like, Lots of I'm almost building a nacho oh, without the tortilla chips, right? On top of... it's the layering of things. Exactly, on top of the tortillas here without the chips got my chicken. Well, we got tortillas. We're getting the chips. You know, just chips. pulled <laughs> apart. Yes, exactly. It's going to make, essentially, the chips. A giant it's nacho. Gonna, exactly. It's a giant nacho, nacho dilla. Nacho Nacho. nacho. Don't nacho take that, Taco dilla. Bell. Nacho dilla. All right. I, I like that. That's so good. I am down for the making up of words. <laughs> <laughs> and then this beautiful <laughs> mixture right here. <laughs> it's going to add it smells so good. much flavor on top of my rotisserie chicken. It looks delicious. Also, Mexican flavors and like the cumin in here and the cheese and the, and the tortillas and everything is my go to comfort food. And I love this as a way to repurpose. This is store bought rotisserie chicken. Yes. Like, literally, the thing is, yes. you walk into your grocery store, you grab it off the shelf, you leave the grocery store. Like, it is easy, easy dinner, protein packed, so many ways to use it. And really, to doctor it up, like, no one would ever know you didn't make this chicken yourself. No. All right. Love. I was so hoping you would go back with more cheese. Thank you. <laughs> Who do you she think I am? She knows us. I am a professional. She loves us. <laughs> <laughs> Topping with some cheese here. And then, look at this. All that beautiful flour you made. I'm going to fold. Tuck her in. And mm, tuck night, it in. Night, night. Beautiful. Okay. And then, Jamika, one, sorry, possibly two more right on top. Okay. That's right. Because, you know. All right. Oh, my goodness. She is tough. Why not? And that is lovely. And then, the key <laughs> to brownie, crispy, beautiful... Quesadilla is that. just brushing the whole thing with a oh, little olive oil. So that'll give us our oh, crisps oh, up in the that oven. We love with right? quesadilla. That's right. Got it. And then to make sure that it stays, the key here is take what a is second this? sheet. Oh, that's what the oh, trick is. Okay. okay. Top, cool. Right. Do you have to wait it, or you just stay oh, like that? It's, it's going to okay. stay like this. You just want it to hold the shape here, right? Amazing. Huh? It's going to go in the oven, 425 degrees, for about 30 minutes. The oven free. Already. Thank you. Good. It is heavy. Okay. It is hefty. Who oh, sorry. And go. I can't. And then, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> it is a bit of a reveal. It's cool. I love this idea. Come on. All right. You got it. I'll get this. Thank you go. Because I want to see this. All right. Trouble yourself. Are with you that ready? Door. Oh, ready. Bun, da, 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 Show da. me what we're working with. Oh. oh it's crispy. Woo. It's pretty awesome. Oh my god! And my final tip for you is cut it with a pizza wheel. Oh, because that that is so simple. Yeah. A knife so you can just, just exactly you can like cut it any way you want. But cutting with a pizza wheel makes it super easy to divide into portions. What a party platter as oh. you like. Family meal. Give party it a try, party. guys. We're getting in on this okay. thing. Yes, yes, yes. We got. I was enamored oh, with that at pizza wheel. Going back, I missed. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Right. Cut it any way you please. I want a few top. Want a little mm. guac with it. Oh yeah, and you know I've made a little board, so there's some guacamole. Some fr oh yeah. I just want to get in the hot one. Yeah, for a sure. Because Hold this on. is excellent. Let me, by the way, let me cool. cut it for you. I don't have a spatula. No, no, I don't need a spatula. I'm gonna. I have asbestos fingers that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Wait. Can I just tell you one thing? That's a big piece. You know how cold pizza is kind of the best thing ever. Cold quesadilla oh, God. is also kind of the best thing ever. Yeah. But hot quesadilla is even better. Mm. 
Correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I mm. forgot we were doing a TV show. I'm over oh. here eating like I am at <laughs> oh home by gosh. myself. I miss me. I got a hot one. <laughs> got a hot one. Oh, oh don't think I'm not going for two. Okay. Come on. The beans are so flavorful. The chicken is delicious. Okay. So juicy. Mmm. And it's like all the toppings inside. I don't even need this stuff, but it's so Thanks, good. Thanks, babe. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Coming up. We are oh, amazing job, by the way. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this. Like, I'm so glad dish. you like it. I don't know. I'm having fun with the pizza wheel over here. I'm having fun eating. Go ahead. Coming up, we're revealing how to make your life a lot more comfy. Mm. Trust me, you're going to want to stick around and see what we're doing here. And as we go to break, number one on our list of genius ways to use your rotisserie chicken, this one uses the whole bird and will make your life a whole lot easier. up a big secret. All the magic happens on a sheet pan. From a delicious stir fry. That sheet pan is working hard. To Jamaica's favorite. Philly cheese steak sandwiches. Oh, oh wow. We are about to make your life a whole lot more comfy and give you the confidence to wear what you love. Ladies, let's show everybody our pants. Walk it, huh? Walk it out. Oh, oh. the stress. The stress. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh, there is a whole new. Oh, first of all, fabulous. Fabulous. I know. Guys, looking there's good. Looking, looking real good. Cheap. Looking very comfortable. There is a whole new trend of pants that look dressed up, but secretly are elastic waisted or drawstring waisted and feel like your favorite sweats. I let we're modeling our actual three favorite pairs of pants we brought from home to show you. So, Jamika, tell me about these lovely pants you're wearing. All right, because the secret? they look like skinny jeans, so it's business on the I mean, bottom. Super. They sexy. look really good on you, right? too. Yeah, I like them. But then check it. It's maternity party oh, at the top. These are my own maternity yeah. jeans. Yes. <laughs> I know that move. I know. I mean, and I'm not the only one. Like, ladies, you know you still love to wear your pants. I'm only a year out from having exactly. my baby, but I mean, I still feel good. I can eat in them. I can walk. And you get a good pump with it, no one will ever know. You put your shirt down, and it's like, who's that mama in those skinny jeans? You I'll tell you. <laughs> Jamaica, that's him. I, know. Yeah, I remember go. when I first discovered maternity jeans being like, why aren't all jeans like this? It's so much more flattering, such a smoothing experience mm -hmm. on top. And you don't have that horrible you button. Up. Like, yeah. you still want some of that support sometimes. I you know? love this. Oh, yeah. Oh, they look amazing, and you do rock them. <laughs> yes, all right. I, oh, I got to show you this because I do have a little footage of my kitchen catwalk because I have way too much fun at home in my kitchen. Let's see it. Check oh. it. Oh, here she goes. There we go. Now, those are my favorite at-home comfy pants. Those are my husband's pajama pants. Oh. <laughs> yes. And I do think everyone, ladies, you should all do the kitchen catwalk at home oh. in the kitchen. It just makes Can you feel good. Can we do the kitchen catwalk here more often? We like, should... I just like the idea of a kitchen catwalk. I don't know what we'll be wearing. Hashtag I that. I like think everyone moment. at home should do that and tag us in it. We want to see your kitchen catwalk. Why not? Well, you should. Why, not? Why shouldn't you do that in your own kitchen, right? And I mean, my husband, I borrowed his pants a long time ago. He was never getting those back. So <laughs> they are yours yes, now. Those are my comfort keepers. Eating pants at home. <laughs> yes. No, I'm all for keeping, not just keeping you confident in the kitchen, but making your kitchen your kingdom. If you can't catwalk in the kitchen, you're, you're missing out on life. Um, okay, so I'm going to tell you about the pants that I'm wearing. Huh? I fell in love, well, let me tell you, with some high-waisted sweatpants that are drawstring on Instagram, and I've never looked back. Ooh. <laughs> I feel hilarious. I have to tell you, I want to be straight up here. This is probably the most authentic, authentically me outfit I wear because it is a little bit luxury, a lot comfortable, I can cook in it, and it just makes me feel put together without ever having to wear anything that's actually, you know, hugging me in or making me feel claustrophobic. I talk a lot about body image and about body positivity and feeling confident in my skin, and I have to tell you, I get chased around when I'm wearing these sweatpants, which I own in like every color, by people who are really well dressed being like, what are these sweatpants? Not because they're revolutionary, but because when I'm wearing them, I feel good in my skin. And that is something that is like, it has taken me 35 years to realize that it is so not about always being on trend, always wearing the highest thing, always wearing the thing that maybe makes you uncomfortable. It's about wearing the thing that makes you feel so good in your skin mm -hmm. and living in your skin and being yeah. fully present there. And that's what's attractive. That is what's sexy. 
That is, and so I give myself permission to wear sweatpants, like apparently on live <laughs> And when they look this good, <laughs> but right? No, and you do it so well. Like you, you inspire people. Like you inspire me on your Instagram. I see you. And that sexy is not tight and fit. It's nothing it sexy be. about. Sometimes I like that, but sometimes I'm not this. It's not know. sexy when you're uncomfortable having to pull exactly. and tuck. Mm -hmm. That's not sexy. Walking and feeling yourself, like that is that is the confidence. That's the sexy that you're going for. And then you throw a mule on with it. I know. That I know. They really just live. Okay. <laughs> okay. How about well, you, Gail? What's going on? Here. I mean, this is a little bit of a surprise because my one of my best girlfriends, Jody Sue, recommended these pants to me. And when I first saw them, when she showed them to me, a picture on her phone, I was like, they're just like jeans with a elastic bottom, you know, with like a little jogger bottom. She's like, no, 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 girl. These are sweatpants, okay? They are, they look like jeans in every way, but these are like screen oh, printed. wait, this is this not is a button. It's, oh my no, gosh. The pockets are here. There's the nothing. pockets are not here. Wait, there's no button? There's yeah. no pockets? I'm, wait, look, look. There's look, no pockets. This is, guys. There's nothing Go on. for it. Just go for it. <laughs> and it's so it, I, I, I encourage, like. And it, there's no button? There's no, no button. I don't know if you can tell they're like jog on, they're jogging pants. on the screen that these are joggers. They're they're jean joggers, but they are not made from denim. They are not stiff. They are beautifully thin and comfy and completely movable. You me. I literally could sleep Never in these. They are you so yeah. comfortable and so genius. cool. And they're really trendy for sure right now. You can get them all over the place. I've yeah. seen lots of different iterations. These are my everyday, all the time pants. Love it. Look and they still good. look put together, right? Yes. That's, see, you guys look like, like I feel like I didn't totally understand the assignment. I was like, what's most comfortable? <laughs> what, what do you mean? You, you absolutely three levels did. of comfort, though. Exactly. We all, and we all look different. great, and we feel great. We want to see your comfy pants. So tag us on Instagram stories, and make sure to stay tuned because we are testing out some of the most popular TikTok hacks, so you don't have to. We have the cheesiest show ever. Ooh. From a heavenly twist on a mozzarella stick mm. to dish in with our friend Food God. One, two, three. Oh, let's dish. Closed captioning for The Good Dish, provided by... incredible life hacks for everything from fashion to food. So we called in TikTok superstar and the host of USA Today's Problem Solve, Christopher Janelle, to walk us through some of the most impressive ones that are game changers, literally game changers. All right, so Christopher, you have a countless number of hacks on your social media page. Like, how do you come up with them? Like, and how long does it take to test? <laughs> Tell, let us into your mind, it please. It starts off with a lot of failing. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of trial and error, but a lot of research. I'm, I'm just naturally curious, and I've actually done a lot of behind-the-scenes work in mm. lifestyle and food and home and living, so oh, I learned okay. a little bit along the way, and Problem Solve was the perfect chance to kind of share that with everybody. And, and just, everybody like, wants this information. Yeah. This, like, yeah. is so good, valuable, things you'll use every, every day. day. It's also so it. nice to hear that you fail along the way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm failing all the time, so that's really nice to know. Yeah. Absolutely. Track used to be, a, like, a negative word, but now it's, like, kind of, like, just have fun. Just make things easy, make things uh, kind of cool and interesting. Well, Instead yes. Of, yeah. Interesting <laughs> should be your middle name because, all right, so first up, we have a fix for storing those open potato chip bags, you know, snack bags when you run out of the clip. Chip clip. Yes. All right. So tell us, how do we do? What do how we do, do now to close chip these up? clips? Because it's just an extra thing in the kitchen. Just, yeah, and you great, lose them. This, I lose yeah. all my chip clips. This is what's great. So take your bag. You want to kind of get all the air out. Chip bags come half full anyway, so yep, you've got plenty true. of room. Sold by volume. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So you want to make a triangle. Is everybody okay. clean along? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come on. I was so engrossed in your actions. Okay, okay, triangle. So make a deep triangle okay, to where it. the chips end. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to flip it. Wait a second. Wait for me. Okay. He's fast. Y'all better. Yeah, yeah, up. fast. Dude. Okay. Once you All get right. the hang of this, it is okay. a, a breeze. You'll never want to. Okay, so I flip flip. it over now. Yeah. Okay. And oh, okay. Then... Everybody get Okay. And then we're just going to roll it up. Oh. Just make little folds. Don't tell me this is going to work. And here, here's, Don't tell me this here's is the fun, gonna... fun part. It's a little origami. Oh. Just flip these oh, over. Flip these edges over. This is and it genius. should keep the bag like closed. I'm living under a rock. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, uh, 
goes in the pantry. Oh Good to go. Okay, well, if okay. that didn't blow your mind, we got one, another hack from Christopher. The next hack that you have for us involves broken glass. Do a little dance. Okay. <laughs> Do a little dance. <laughs> I don't know how to <laughs> this, this is actually super cool. But again, with four little kids, glass does sometimes break in my house. And you do get worried. The big pieces you can see, but those little tiny shards little that are pieces, so hard yeah. to pick. And who wants to go get the vacuum out? Or the mop? Like, you know, those are the only things I've found that well, really get them the all vacuum. up. Oh, it, exactly Those little pieces right. can get trapped yeah. in there. And then when you clean it out, now you just, like, have glass everywhere. Exactly So right. uh, a manual way is the best way to go. Even a broom can miss those little pieces. I, I so. found that to be true, yes. Brown paper bag so you don't cut up the inside of your trash bag. Okay. And this is super important. When you discard broken trash, you got to put it in a, a broken, broken glass. Broken glass, in a, yeah. In a bag of some kind. Exactly. In a bag. So big pieces in there. Can you help me with those? Yes, absolutely. Pieces? Let me Careful. go ahead and grab Careful. these. Okay, so we're picking up the large shards. So the little pieces that are hard to pick up yes. that broom won't get. What do we do now? Just some sandwich bread. Regular old sandwich bread. Oh. I don't oh know. With no effort. What is happening right now? <laughs> is that oh, not wait, crazy? Wait. Every, Just a piece but, like, of bread. Why is it a sponge? Like, what is it about? Yeah, especially if you have some old stale bread, like, hey, save it for maybe a, a little this bit just to pick up some bread. So okay. cool. like that. And look at this. They're all caught. They're all embedded right into Can you right see it there. shiny? Look at that glass yeah, that. slipper. And <laughs> a light color, I have light granite countertops, oh. so I can never see and you just fold it and continue. what's on there. So there you go. All right. No, mind blown. Dab, 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 dab. You Christopher. blew my mind twice. <laughs> okay. So great. I love that Good. tip. Easy. That's wild. All right, you guys, up next, Beautiful. Christopher is sticking around as we test out some viral hacks to see if they are worthy or just whack. As we go to break, take a look at the last kitchen idea from Christopher. He shows us how to make our own reusable gel packs at home. You've been making ice packs like this? You're doing it wrong. Here's how you make your own gel ice packs. Let's start off with a reusable zip top bag. They're more sustainable. Add two parts water, one part alcohol, a little bit of dish soap, and for the right look, food color. Now, get as much air out as you can. Now this goes into the freezer for a few hours or overnight. After some time in the freezer, we have our gel ice packs. If you want it a little more firm, just add less alcohol. We're dishing up a big secret. All the magic happens on a sheet pan. From a delicious stir fry. That sheet pan is working hard. To Jamaica's favorite. Philly cheese steak sandwiches. Oh, oh wow. A good life hack, especially one that will save me time and sanity in the kitchen. And Christopher <laughs> Janelle is sticking around with us. So there are plenty of hacks that do go viral online, but are they all they're cracked up to be? We are helping answer the question, is it a TikTok hack or whack? <laughs> I love it. We're testing them so you don't have to. You don't have to waste your time trying things that don't actually work. Hack or whack? We're answering it today. Take a look at this trick to cleaning a truly Filthy pan. It looks almost too good to be true. Please be true. When you cook and you end up with a pot or a pan that looks like this and you don't want to scrub it clean, here's what you do. Fill it up with some water, add some dish soap, and one or two dryer sheets. Let it sit for one hour. An hour later, check it out. Boom. Comes right off. Crazy. What? No more scrubbing. Uh, I'm in shock. Mouth wide well, open. Shock. All of them. I, like, I, I, <laughs> okay, I have to give this a try right? because it really could be a game changer in my life, in everybody's life. All right, so I have my pan, hot water, some dish soap in there. There was a gyre sheet, and did it work? No. Oh, uh, this was what? like baked oh on lasagna. There we go. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, have you done this before? So I, I haven't used the, the dryer sheet. We have to see the camera how clean this is. I haven't this used the dryer sheet. Sparkling clean. I do baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. Let that sit in a scorched pan. That'll work too. Oh, so, that's a great yeah, one too. I like that trick, yeah. You know, uh, look it makes me think what after. is in this dryer sheet. <laughs> you think the same thing. But we're going to rinse it thoroughly afterwards, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. right? But look at so it. So is it hack or whack? What do you think? I mean, this is hack all the way. This is life hack. Wow. I'm in. genius. You don't, you don't ruin your manicure. Oh, you don't, I know, but we don't know. <laughs> Talk about about for what's in your dryer sheet. <laughs> All right, so this next hack is supposed to make plastic wrap easier to use. Let's take a look. Bro, 
So my aunt comes over yesterday and I'm putting away my meal prep and I'm using the saran wrap to cover one of the pots. And she's like, you know, saran wrap's supposed to go in the freezer, right? I, I go, who? She goes, yeah, it's supposed to go in the freezer. So I put it in the freezer. Let me show you. This is for the non-believers. You see, it's like cold. Bro, where have I been? It wouldn't have unwrinkled that easily if I didn't put it in the freezer. All right, let's see if it works. I am skeptical. Let's see, all right, so I have mine in the freezer. Nice and cold. All right, Gail, if you will, unroll. Happy to. And let's see. We'll see the difference. Wait, like, it, okay, it you unroll that. Better. All right. Because look at mine. Like, I can barely get it off. And it crumples up into a little ball, and I hate wasting it. I'm at it's home. As soon as it grabs, right you try to put it with your mouth. You're straightening it on your clothes. That never works. It's not sticking together it's, at No, it's actually not. But then, look. but then... <gasps> That, this is what's nice. You're not getting that clumped up, frustrating, want to throw your plastic oh, wrap wow. okay. at the wall. Okay. And let me see the difference. See, it, that just great. Yeah. sticks together, yeah. balls up, so it we, separates just, out every time. Okay, all right. Does I'm Christopher convinced. believe in this hack? I believe in this. I've done this one. It you works have. really well. I always say uh, hacks like this, it's like somebody's grandma came up with that. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely yeah. hacktacular. This is a I great hack. It. Yes. I all right. love this segment. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank Christopher, for joining us. All your great ideas. I will be putting them to great use. For more of Christopher's useful, awesome hacks, check out Problem Solved on TikTok and USA Today's streaming channels. Now, if you ever wonder how chefs can eat without gaining weight, we've got an answer next. <laughs> We have the cheesiest show ever. Ooh. From a heavenly twist on a mozzarella stick mm. to dish in with our friend Food God. One, two, three. Oh, let's dish. No one loves delicious food more than we do. After all, we are tasting, experimenting, or cooking throughout the day every day, but how do we eat with joy without gaining weight? Today, I am sharing one of my favorite tools for striking a healthy balance, and I wanna start by asking, how do you both keep a positive relationship with food, given we spend all day with it? <laughs> I know, it's so tricky, and I think for me, I had to get rid of all the misconceptions about food. So for me, there's no good food, there's no bad food, it's simply food, right? And I don't do like, like oh, I get a cheat day, or I or give myself a treat, like I'm not a dog, like don't, put those ramifications or those boundaries mm -hmm. on food. You know, I always try to keep fun of mine because relationships to food are complicated mm -hmm. for everyone, yes. man, woman, child. And I always want to keep in the forefront of my mind that food is nourishment, it is fuel, yes. it is nutrition, mm -hmm. it is joy, it is pleasure, yes. right? So instead of worrying about one of these and two of these, but I ate this so I can't mm -hmm. eat that, or I'm gonna have to walk so many steps in order to <laughs> only, I wanna just make sure that I can balance it out, a little of everything, and that includes the things I love. Yes. Yeah, yeah it's nice to make it a little more intuitive, a little more instinctual, but part of doing that is getting educated and knowing more yes. about food mm -hmm. and knowing more how to take care of your body. And I have to say, sometimes that can take work. And I've loved keeping it a little easier on myself by using WW, formerly Weight Watchers, as one of my tools for keeping a healthy mindset like you guys just described. The best part to me, and this is kind of mind blowing, is no food is off limits because I radically agree. The minute you start making food taboo, it's when it takes over your life. It's all you can think about. You can reach your goals and still lose weight without ever giving up the foods that you love. And it's so easy to use. I've had a lot of fun with it. Check out what I've been up to. This WW program is really about being flexible. Like we're not trying to be perfect. We're not trying to eat in this like really rigid, narrow path. You wanna enjoy your life. Yay for zero points avocado. I'm still losing my mind over this new WW development. There are three cheeses happening on our white pizza with everything bagel crust. Do I need to tell you this is delicious? No deprivation happening there. And today I want to share that WW has launched a brand new program, 
personal points. This is the first of its kind, most unique and personalized program yet. Literally no two plans are the same and everything is customized to you, your eating preferences, your lifestyle, to get you to your goals without ever giving up the foods that you love. Here's how you do it. All you need to do is answer a few simple questions on the app and it will give you a daily personal points budget that you'll get a unique zero point foods list based on your favorite foods that you never have to track. It makes it so simple and easy to use. And my favorite new feature is that you can even add points back by drinking your water, which I do. Jamaica walks around with a huge jug of water all day. Drinking your water is key. Hydration is important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> eating your veggies, staying active, so you can literally add points back to your budget to use on foods that you love from the WW app. We actually each went ahead and got our zero point foods list, completely unique to us. Tell me what ended up on your list. All right, so I, I'm really excited about avocado. The best. I mean, yes, because so excited about it, it gives me that creaminess and the fat that I need and want. And I mean, it pairs well. I can put it like avocado toast and do like healthy breads with it, a little diced tomato. Like I can just make it my own and not feel bad about anything that I'm eating. So yes. avocados. And that's part of what the, the new personal points program takes into account is the healthy fats. Like what mm -hmm. that does, it fuels you, it fills you up, it adds so much flavor. Well, this was easy. I chose eggs because eggs are my favorite. I, I truly and deeply believe that eggs are the most perfect food mm. in the world. They are so versatile. They are quick in a fix. You, they're just like, for me, the optimum food. They're great for you. They've got a little of everything. So I'm never giving up an egg. Nice and choice. now you not only do you not have to, you don't even have to track it when you eat it. It's a zero point food. So for me, whole wheat pasta was one of my zero point foods among many others. So today we are going to make one of my all time favorite recipes. It is cacio e pepe using whole wheat pasta as the base. This of course is a classic Italian dish. It's so rich and creamy and delicious tasting. And look how like, look how wonderful and indulgent that meal looks. And this is going to be a WW friendly mix for you. So I'll show you how quick you can make this pasta. And it's actually like some Italian dishes, it is so simple, but there's technique involved that really lands it. So I toasted up a lot of pepper. Cacio e pepe is, is essentially cheese and pepper. Yes. <laughs> it's sheep's cheese and pepper. <laughs> um, toasted up a nice big, probably two tablespoons of freshly cracked pepper here. And you wanna, you wanna toast it until you get that nice peppery kind of greenness in the air, but not until it's burnt. And once that smell hits the air, you're gonna quickly, quickly stop the cooking process with a ladle of your pasta cooking water mm -hmm. and drop in on WW a tablespoon or two of butter. Now this is gonna help build out your sauce, make it super luscious and creamy. And of course you can dial that down a little bit if you'd like to, but a little bit goes a long way. Start to swirl that in the pan. And once the butter starts to melt, you're gonna pull the sauce off the heat. Now this is one of the tricky moves. You're gonna add your pecorino and Parmesan cheeses, two creamy, delicious cheeses with lots of saltiness mm -hmm. to them, really flavorful, to start to build out that sauce off the heat. This is one mistake yes. I have frequently made. <laughs> you will end up with a seized sauce that is not luscious and glorious and creamy, it is broken, if you put it on the stove when you're adding your cheese. <laughs> so that's your hot tip. Okay, so you can see the butter starting to melt. I'll take it off the heat, sprinkle in my Parmesan, sprinkle in my Pecorino, and you can do all of one or the other if you choose, but I like the combo of both. One's a little saltier, a little more bitey. One's a little creamier. A little... It's a good looking sauce, that right? Is. Yeah. Whisk that the up. Easiest sauce I but, think you can ever do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, I love that we're talking WW and spilling on myself while I'm in my comfy cooking clothes. This is literally what, what it's for. <laughs> <happens> also, <laughs> the monochromatic theme. I'm like, it's very chic. A saucy little gotcha, Pepe lady. Go. Okay. And then what, as this sauce is coming together so beautifully, go ahead and throw in your perfectly cooked zero point food whole wheat pasta right here. And of course we use that pasta water to really build out the starchy, delicious Beautiful. creaminess of the sauce. Thank you so much. At this point, because we're starting to distribute it, we can go back on the heat and work our pasta together. Watch as it comes together. All right, that just continues to blend and stir and toss it up. Yeah. And what you are left with is this gorgeous plate in front of you. Now, I also included a special secret gem at the bottom of each of your bowls. Tiny cubes really? of Parmesan cheese at the bottom. Oh, it's funny. I saw that and I was like, wait, did you? <laughs> wow, that's a treasure. It's Thank you for that present. Th this was a oh, trick yeah. I learned from a restaurant near where I live. Mm -hmm. And it's like a little melting cheese pocket at the bottom of the bowl that I just love. 
A great new feature of WW is that you can now add points back by eating non-starchy veg like this gorgeous side of lemon roasted broccolini. Good. So dig into your pasta, grab some stems of broccolini. And, and a good pairing, by the way, the bitter oh, snap with the creamy cheesiness. So yummy. I love this. And I know how much you love cache pepper. I like, sure do. Like, that is your favorite. <laughs> I think you're going to name your next baby cache. Like, little, look at little cache pepper. You <laughs> love it so, so much. <laughs> so I love the fact that you can enjoy it and feel good about eating it, too. And I love meals like this on WW, too, because this isn't something I have to segment my meal and just make it no, mine. My I whole family loves this. By the way, my Cacio Pepe is a nine personal points meal. And with this broccolini, I get to add four points back to my daily budget. So I eat what I love and still reach my goals. And it's delicious. Mm. Thank you for sharing. I'm so happy to get to share. This is the best with friends. So fun. So nothing is off limits here. Like, I kind of don't understand she wants how to easy that is. This. No, literally nothing is off limits. Everything stays on the menu. Now, you guys know I also love eating out at restaurants. I think of it as research <laughs> and the ww app actually helps guide me on what to eat when i'm out too something um my coach lisa actually taught me which has really helped me because you know you get in that moment you sit down to your restaurant meal and and sometimes you get carried away by what other people are ordering or what you're feeling in that moment when you're not necessarily when you're really hungry and not necessarily making your best meditated choices and the beauty the beautiful thing is like if you want you know the steak and potatoes or the steak and potatoes maybe eat half of it maybe take some home or eat it all, and you can actually plan ahead and use your personal points earlier in the day so you have the budget left over for later in the day. It really makes it super functional to just pre-plan and pre-track so you set yourself up for success. A lot of it comes down to when am I going to make my best choice and how am I going to set myself up for that success in the moment. All right. Makes perfect sense. I'm sold. You don't have to tell me anymore. I'm <laughs> sold. Easy. I, tell me, how do we sign up for this? How do uh, we... Well, that's the best part. That is super easy. All you're going to do is take a photo of this QR code right here on the screen or you can go to www.com slash the good dish. And today, guys, special for our viewers, WW is giving an extra $10 off select membership plans. Ooh. Just use code the good dish at checkout to get started on your own personalized journey. And a big special thanks to our partner, WW. We'll Yay. be right back. Okay, now it's getting creamy in here. This is yeah. Here we go. You need to have a Welcome back to The Good Dish. We've got our rotisserie chicken quesadillas, mm -hmm. our comfy pants on. I've kicked my <laughs> shoes off. I mean, life is good, right? <laughs> I love it. So good. Fun show today. Lots of deliciousness so going fun. on. So fun. Oh, good. I, those hacks, guys, game changers for me. I'm so excited to put those to good use at my house. That's so fun. Um, and always fun to hang with your ladies. And Christopher, I mean, he just, I need him, in my, I need him holding my hand for the rest of my life. Oh, uh, he's the best. We I'm excited to have him back for sure. <laughs> For sure. All right, you guys, see that QR code on your screen? Go ahead and open up your camera app. Hold your phone up to the screen, and it will take you right to the recipes, shopping list, and more from today's show. On the good list today, the answer to the question, what's for dinner? We are giving you our recipe for Gail's sheet pan chicken oh, quesadillas. Yes. So delicious. And you don't even have to worry about cooking your bird because you can just pick up a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store. All the great recipes from today's show are on the good list. All right, everyone, thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time for more good food and good dish. Yay.